Here we have new 2010 Forester, Subaru Forester. It was redesigned in 09. Knockout hits, motor trend, for utility of the year. What they did to this is instead of having the wagon look, it's much more of a SUV like stance, yet still built on the car platform. They raised the ground clearance on this from this nice legacy style car down to here. You now have a class leading 8.7 inches of ground clearance, which is great for those, you know winter nights when they don't plow and you, you got to get to the store to get something for uh, little Jimmy or whatnot. They need it for school and you got to get out just you know because kids they don't like to tell you until the last minute so but now you're able to go no matter what with the all-wheel drive. You come around the front this one is equipped with the uh, fog lights. License plate brackets not hooked on. Regular headlights. Let me pop the hood so I can show you the, the boxer four-cylinder. Now you might be wondering yourself what's a boxer engine? Because usual engines they have a V configuration or they're in a line. What a boxer engine is, it's horizontally opposed. So they go back and forth from each other, lowers the center of gravity of the car, less of a chance of a rollover. Has more stability, less vibration, makes the engine last longer. Nice thing about the engine is everything in here is color coded. Very bright so you can see it. Batteries are very visible, positive and negatives are shown. Washer fluid, your oil, your dipstick, power steering fluid, brake fluid all easily seen in case worst case scenario you need to add something it's listed right there for you walk around to this side of the car what you see here is the environmental protection score Subaru is very very environmentally conscious their plant where they build these vehicles is the first zero landfill plant in the country it's actually a wildlife sanctuary which is kind of impressive since they don't throw anything out come around the back side you open up the rear hatch, you got a nice luggage privacy carrier, so that way if you have stuff in here in your park somewhere, someone can't look in and say, ooh, I got this nice shiny computer in here that I'm gonna break in and steal. This is easily, you get, this one comes with the all-weather mats and the carpet mats, you get both. Underneath here, you get some more storage, a couple tools, and actually underneath this, more toys, is actually your spare tire. These are just luggage racks that have not been, yet been put on. Continue on to this side. I can open the door to get in the inside of the car. The rear seat wise, you get a full, it's a 60-40 split and they do recline. So those nights you're tired and you come home from work or even you guys have a golf tournament, you come from that, you guys just want to recline back. You just push the button on the side here and it reclines back. But they also Say you run in a room you need for the prizes you win at your golf tournament. They fold flat. Both sides do. Plus there's an armrest, extra cup holders in there for whatever you need for your Gatorade or water beverages for after the uh, golf tournament. If you go in the um, afterwards. The front, I think I have one of you guys hop in. When you guys hop in, I can show you from the other side. Do have power windows. Power locks, sliding armrest, front two are heated seats. You don't have a power seat, but it still does recline. Driver's seat is the power seat, up and down, forward and back. Also reclines the uh, seat back. Radio mounted controls, cruise control as well. Fog lights, like I mentioned. Power mirrors, giant panoramic moonroof. It slides all the way back, even pulls this back with you. Another feature for safety wise airbags. Subaru is very safety conscious. Not only does the car come with four wheel ABS, you have front, passenger and driver airbags, side airbags. And what Subaru did is they added for 2010 what they call a rollover sensor. So Subaru looked at statistics of SUVs and well SUVs have a tendency to roll over. That's just you know, what they do. Subaru's not so much, but you know, every car has a possibility to roll over. What Subaru decided is they put a rollover sensor in. So worst case scenario, you, you're starting to drive, you have that rollover, the side airbags will deploy so you won't hit your head on the glass or the pillars. Another thing is your airbag in the passenger seat. Usually on here, I can turn it on, and what they call an advanced airbag. So turn this on, this passenger airbag off on, that goes away, and it's gonna say passenger airbag on, because you're sitting in the car. What it's doing is it's actually reading you sitting in that seat, and it's gonna deploy, not with the same amount of force if you were small, a smaller person. It's still gonna come out just as fast and protect you off of the same safety, but it's not going to give you the same impact and possibly not break your nose or uh, bust your eyes up or whatnot. Can't break this nose. No, you can't. No, you can't. Look at that. Look at that. It's four-speed automatic. 
since it does come with automatic climate control, you might be wondering what the plus and minus are. So, that's regular drive, uh, automatic mode. Drive two, is what they call sport mode. Sport lights up on the dash, holds the revs a little higher, a little more sportier driving, but you can also control it yourself into, into a manual mode almost, where you can go through all four gear ratios as, as you wish. Say you need extra power to pass somebody, you want to control your speed and not use your brakes on a downhill, you're able to do that.